Hi guys, welcome to J Exploit. My name is Jidin and in today's video we are going to discuss about symmetry key or secret key cryptography. Let's begin. Symmetry key cryptography. So before we actually move on with the topic, if you guys are not familiar with the concept of cryptography, then I would recommend you guys to watch my video on it. The video link you will find right below on the description box. Okay, now let's move on with the topic. Let's start with an example so that you guys get a clear picture on symmetry key cryptography. Suppose there is a box and I am going to keep some of my confidential files inside that box. And once I keep all that files inside the box, I am going to lock it with a key. And why I am doing that? Because I want to keep all my files secure and I don't want anybody else to have access to those files. Basically, I am trying to prevent all the unauthorized access to that files. Okay, now a day later, I shared that key with one of my friend. My friend opened that box and took all the confidential files. I am pretty much okay with that because he is my friend and I trust him. Now there is an important point to be noted here. Both of us use the same key to lock and unlock the box. Yes, the same key to lock and unlock the box. Now, the symmetry key cryptography also uses the similar process. It also uses a single key for its operation. That we will discuss it later in detail. Now, there are some important points that you guys should know about symmetry key cryptography. The first one is the plain text. Plain text it basically is the raw data or the clear text which anybody can easily read and understand. For example, a word eagle. Eagle is pretty much easy for anyone to read and understand. So this is plain text. Second one is the encryption algorithm. Encryption algorithm may be a mathematical procedure that is used in the encryption of plain text. So the encryption algorithm is basically applied on the plain text so that it can be converted into an unrecognizable format. This is to ensure the security. That means to prevent all the unauthorized assets. Third one is the ciphertext. Once the encryption algorithm is applied on the plain text, the output will be an unrecognizable data. That unrecognizable data is known as the ciphertext. And the ciphertext is not that easy to crack. Fourth one is the decryption algorithm. So decryption algorithm is the reverse process that is performed in the encryption process. Decryption algorithm is performed on the ciphertext to get back the original text that is a plain text. Now an important point to be noted here, the encryption algorithm is applied on the plain text and decryption algorithm is applied on the ciphertext. Now the fifth and important component of symmetry key cryptography that is the secret key. The secret key is used both in the encryption and the decryption process. Because the symmetry key cryptography uses a secret key, only a single secret key for both encryption and decryption process, it is also known as secret key cryptography. Now let's see how symmetry key cryptography work. Let's discuss with an example. So John wants to send some message to Sarah. The message is pretty simple, it's just a hi. Assume that the messaging app is using symmetric key cryptography. Then the message is first sent for encryption process. In the encryption process, the encryption algorithm is applied with the help of secret key. After applying the encryption algorithm on the plain text, that is the message high, it will be converted into a ciphertext. Ciphertext is nothing but the encrypted message with the help of the key. Now the ciphertext is sent over the untrusted medium. Untrusted medium, in this case, it is the internet. At the receiving end, the ciphertext is sent for the decryption process. Now, the same key is used to decrypt the ciphertext. Once the decryption algorithm is applied on the ciphertext, the original message is retrieved back, that is high. The high or the plain text is nothing but the decryption algorithm applied on the ciphertext with the help of the key. After decryption, the message is sent to Sarah. So this is how symmetry key cryptography works. Now there will be presence of attackers or hackers in the untrusted medium. That is basically the internet. So what if somebody gets the secret key? Then they will be able to decrypt the message and in turn it will affect the confidentiality, integrity and availability of data. 
So in order to add up security in symmetric key cryptography, the secret key will not be sent along with the ciphertext. Instead, the secret key will be shared separately between both the parties. Both the parties in the sense, the sender and the receiver. Now, one important point to be noted here is that the same key is used for encryption as well as the decryption process. Because of that, the name symmetric key encryption or symmetric key cryptography. Now let's look into the advantages and disadvantages of symmetric key cryptography. We will start with the advantages first. The first one is less complexity. Since the symmetric key cryptography uses a single key for its whole operation, it is less complex and easy to implement. Second one, it is really fast. The reason being the same, it uses a single key for its whole operation. And not only that, there are no complex methods involved in sharing the keys between both the parties, that is the sender and receiver. Because of this reason, symmetry key cryptography is really fast. The third one is, the secret key will not be transmitted along with the ciphertext. The key will be shared separately between both the parties, that means the sender and the receiver. Because of that, it adapts the security of symmetric key cryptography. Now let's look into some of the disadvantages of symmetric key cryptography. The first one is, it needs a secure channel to share the secret key. If the channel is not secure, there is a high chance that the secret key may get exposed online. The second one is usage of too many keys. So the messaging app that you're using is following the symmetric key cryptography. Then every time when you send a text to a different person, it will generate a new secret key. And because of this, it will be very difficult to manage and secure those keys. So these are some of the advantages and disadvantages of using symmetric key cryptography. Okay guys, that's pretty much from this video. If you like my channel, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the latest video updates. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.